all the faces. And so yeah, whenever you guys are ready. Ooh, oh, good Lord. Sorry, sorry. I need to turn my text messages down. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm going to mute myself if I'm not talking. Bye. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, Lisa, we're, I think it looks like we're recording, so thumbs up. All right. Uh, welcome to the March season of Adventures of the Star Keepers. Um, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Gusts of wind and the faint call of birds blow through the floating city of Nimbus. The sounds of robots marching punches the air. Flash is breathing hard, switching from running and flapping his wings. We hear the hum and crackle of electricity. I have to calm down. My lightning is getting out of control. Electricity continues to crackle. Flash pounds on the door. Hello? Anyone there? Oh, and Flash, gotta calm down. Crash. Robot marching gets louder. The noise of crackling lightning and electricity intensifies. Flash pounds on the door harder. Please? Anyone? I need help. All the other bats have been turned into robots and they're after me. Intruder. Transition to jungle noises, Glacia stomps through the alien jungle, breathing hard. Just go explore Sanctuary, Glacia. There's another Starkeeper here, Glacia. It'll be fun, Glacia. Definitely not filled with bugs or weird noises or mud. Ew. Okay, get it together. Nothing to worry about. All you gotta do is find the new Starkeeper, right? Glacia Nova. presses a button on her portal caster. Nova? Greetings, Glacia. How can I assist you? How much farther till I reach the city? Hmm. According to your coordinates, you're already there. There's nothing here but trees, bugs, and mud. Wait a second. My scans are telling me you're actually below the city. Look up. As Glacia looks up, we hear the low drone of a city hovering above her. Whoa! A floating city! How does anyone even get up there? How exactly do you expect me to get up there? The inhabitants of Nimbus are bat-like creatures with wings. When I discovered that, I had two pairs of anti-gravity boots constructed in case the team needed them. Oh, is that what these are? Huh, I just thought they were nice boots. Is that why you took both pairs? Uh, well, a girl can never be too prepared. Series of snaps and clicks as Glacia puts the boots on, followed by a beeping as the anti-gravity kicks on. Uh, Nova? Is this even safe? Absolutely. Just make sure to turn the boots off when you get to the city. Why? Because if you don't, you'll keep floating until you reach space. What? Transition to the Shadow Squad ship flying through space. Hollywood snores loudly as Tutu stomps into the room. Hollywood! Oh, yeah, stand back, dude. I got it. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> Hollywood! Dude, why are you always waking me up? Because you're always sleeping. And because... We're supposed to be playing Sparkly Unicorn Makeover, and it's your turn to be the unicorn! No, uh no way! Last time it took forever to get all the glitter out of my hair! I don't care! Now put on the horn and the rainbow tail! Aw, oh, man! Hey, what? Toti, report to the control room now. Oh, nice going, Hollywood. Me? But I didn't... No. Uh, 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 yes, Nebuloster. <laughs> Can we do a one, two, three? Yeah, yeah there we go. Okay. One, two, three. Yes, yes Nebuloster. Nebuloster. It appears the Star Keepers are still searching for more members, while you have been wasting time sleeping and throwing tantrums. Someone else has been working hard to come up with a plan. Isn't that right, Professor Ratiform? <laughs> yes, 
yes, yes. Thanks to my enormous brain, I have discovered that not only are these troublesome star keepers outside their headquarters, but they have also split up. Excellent. Hollywood, Tutu, you will follow Professor Ratiform's orders. Go and get rid of the star keepers. They are the only things standing between me and the heart of the universe. Ugh! Why do we have to follow her order? Why do we, why do we have to follow her orders? I've been here longer, not to mention I'm prettier, sparklier, and more princessy. The and... only thing you are is more annoying. I'm not! Ah, uh, too! Not to mention you're not even a real princess! <gasps> hey, uh, that's not very nice. Oh, and what are you going to do about it, you metal buffoon? Uh, um, uh, well... That's what I thought. Now, leave and await my orders. Oh, man, I'm not a buffoon. Is that anyway a monkey? Oh, man. Tutu and Hollywood walk out, the doors sliding open and shut behind them. Now, tell me how the Nimbus experiments are going. All according to plan. Mm. The, con the conversion device works then. Oh, it works. And even if one of those silly star keepers shows up, nothing will get in our way. <laughs> 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 Transition to Nimbus. Once again, we hear the gusts of wind paired with the faint call of birds. The ambience is joined by the sound of Glacia floating to the surface, turning her anti-grav off and hitting the ground with a soft thud. I am never doing that again. The sound of wind and bird calls we heard earlier have now been reduced to a creepy echo in the background, like we're hearing them on abandoned streets in between buildings. Uh, Nova? Are you sure this is the right place? Of course, why? Because no one is here. This place is empty. Where is everyone? This doesn't make sense. Nimbus is usually full of life. We'll scan again! Glacia, oh, is on. something- Sorry, the peeps a little bit on that. We'll scan again! Glacia, is something worrying you? I, I really want to do well on this mission. I'm worried I'll mess up. What if I'm really not cut out to be a starkeeper? You're a great starkeeper, Glacia. And if something is bothering or worrying you, you can always talk to me. Uh, I am talking to you. <laughs> no, I mean you can tell me about what's worrying you. Talking to others is a great way to find peace and rest. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Nova. A robot bat flies overhead. Wait, I think I see someone flying up ahead. Glacia jogs after the flying robot. Hey, hey you, flying bat person. Can you? The robot lands on the ground with a metallic clank and a series of communicative beeps and whirs. Uh, help me? Intruder. A series of more beeps and metal clanks as more robots enter the scene and join Robot 1 in screeching, Intruder! Intruder! Glacia, something is very wrong. You think? This place is full of robots! Run! Transition from the Shadow Squad ship, we hear muffled sniffling from Tutu. The doors slide open and Hollywood walks in. <laughs> hey, little dude! I mean... <clears throat> Hey, little dude. I mean, Supreme Princess Tutu. You okay? I'm okay! <laughs> Why wouldn't I be okay? <laughs> oh, um, uh, there, 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 there. Uh, so, uh... Oh, Tutu gives a big sniff. Sorry. <laughs> you know I'm a princess, right, Hollywood? <laughs> uh, of course! Get Radiform 
didn't know what she was talking about. What do you think she and the boss have planned? Who cares? You aren't even, like, a little worried about it? Like, what if Glacia was right and he did something scary? Glacia's not part of our team anymore, Hollywood. What she thinks doesn't matter. <sighs> now, come over here. Oh, now, come over here. It's still your turn to get a unicorn makeover. Oh, <laughs> dude. Oh. Come on, you'll love it. Okay. <laughs> Makes you feel better. It does. Uh. Transition back to Nimbus, where Glacia is being chased. We hear Glacia running, followed by robots marching. Intruder. There's got to be somewhere to hide around this city. Let's see. Fire hydrant? No. Street sign? No. Dumpster? That's it! Dumpster! The sound of robots are getting closer. We hear the open and slam of a dumpster lid as Glacia jumps in to hide. The sound of the robot bats fade. Glacia breathes a sigh of relief. Voices are a bit echoey inside. Glacia, are you okay? There's a crunch and squish of trash as Glacia moves around. Pretty sure I've never been less okay. Oh, I'm sitting on a rotten banana peel. At least... I hope it's a banana peel. Oh, so gross. Achoo! Bless you. Glacia, I didn't sneeze. <laughs> Take that, evil robot! Hey! Ow! Watch it! It almost hit me! I'm not a robot! I'm not a robot! Oh, you're not, are you? So, who are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please don't throw more ice at me. I'm just a bat. I'm trying to find out why my clan has been turned into robots. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry about that. I'm Glacia. Hi, Glacia. My name is... <coughs> I'm not sure I can pronounce that. Oh well, I guess you can just call me Flash. Right. So, uh, Flash, did you say those robots are your clan? Yeah, my whole family. We live here on Nimbus. But they're all robots. They weren't a couple of days ago. One day people started disappearing, and then bam! Robots! And then they started chasing me. I'm so worried. What if they never change back? What if I'm all alone forever? What if they breathe fire? Thunder rumbles in the distance, followed by the crackle and pop of lightning. Lightning strikes the ground. Whoa! Ah! Sorry, 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 sorry. Lightning bolt came from you? Yeah. Sheesh. Does everyone around here shoot lightning? No. And just... Just me. I can't control it very well, especially when I get anxious. Huh. You know, I used to struggle with that. My powers would get out of control when I was scared or worried. But when I focused on thinking peaceful thoughts, it helped calm me down. And then I was able to control my powers. Hmm. My mom always told me to think peaceful thoughts. Um... But that's kind of hard to do when everyone around you has been turned into killer robots. Well, let's try. What helps you have peace? Um, talking to you is helping. Um, but I guess I could also think about things like, um, deep breaths, ocean waves, my mom's cooking, flying. Flying? No thanks. Been there, done that. Nope. No, no really. <laughs> My favorite part is when I'm up in the clouds. It's like floating on cotton candy. Flash lets out a big sigh. We hear an electric hum. <sighs> uh, Flash, your hands are glowing. That's weird. I wonder what happened if I pointed them toward that trash can over there. Uh, maybe that's not a good... <clears throat> Lightning and a cat screams in fright. Did you see that? I controlled my lightning. All I had to do was focus and think peaceful thoughts. 
and talking to you seemed to really help. Thanks! Uh, yeah, sure. You're welcome. <clears throat> we should probably get you out of here. Guess the new Starkeeper will have to wait. Starkeeper? What's that? Is that what you are? Do you keep stars? How do you do it? Is that... Giant crash interrupts Flash. Intruder, intruder. There's a growing sound of electricity. We're never getting out of here. I'm going to be a robot. Do robots even eat? What if I can't eat? Flash, you've got to calm down. Right. Peace. Calm. Rest. Nova? Nova, do you copy? Glacia, you and Flash need to find somewhere safe to hide. You can look for the next Starkeeper once we figure out what to do about Flash's clan being turned into robots. What are we waiting for? You heard the computer, lady! Let's go! Intruders. Intruders. Flash, try using your lightning again. Maybe you can short-circuit the robots. I can't! They're still my family! I might hurt them! Okay, well, I think I can stop them. Trust me, this won't harm them. Running stops, icy wind sounds as Glacia powers up and blasts her ice at the robots. The icy sounds are broken by Flash's teeth shattering. You, you, you froze them? Wow, good job, Glacia. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Glacia, the robots you froze just sent out a distress signal. Um, excuse me, Miss uh, Nova, ma'am. What does that mean? Air is punctuated by the distant but quickly approaching clanks of more robots and intruder. It means we need to get out of here right now. We're surrounded. Any other ideas, Glacia? <sighs> Tank. Bubbles. Leo. Anyone. We need help here. Repeat. Send help. Robot bat noises die down as the Shadow Squad ship flies over the city and lands with a whoosh. The ramp lowers, the doors slide open, smoke and steam pour out as the air clears. Ratiform exits the ship and laughs. <laughs> Hello, my robotic darlings. Mommy's home. Cool. Yes! Great hey. episode. <laughs> hey, I got some people saying that they can't get on the Same. live stream. Yeah. Same here. yeah, my sister said it's uh not it's just uh you doing a webinar right now. And when I just tried to log in while you guys were doing that, I just got like spinny wheel. Spinning wheel. Same. <laughs> um <laughs> please hold We're live at heart. <laughs> well, let me see. <laughs> Heart. That's right. <laughs> Let me check on my computer. Yeah, it's so weird. I can see us. That's so bizarre. Um, I know now. I'm so sorry. Like, it, I think it's just like a finicky. Thing. Maybe you have to do it from like Google Chrome or something. I have no idea. Um, however, if they can't watch us here and now we're recording it and I'll upload it somewhere so you can share it with them later. Sorry, okay. people on the internet that couldn't watch this live. What's the streaming that. service you're using to, uh, to stream it out? It's Wix. Well, it's Zoom connected to Wix. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so. I don't know. So, are we good to keep going? Episode two? Yeah? Anyone? Do you want me to do, like, sound effects? I, I, I was so urged to do it, but I... Like, do you uh, really want to do the cat? Because I really wanted to do the cat. No, 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 no. Just cat. sound effects. Like, like uh, I realized what? Flash had the, the bat noise, and I went... And I was, oh, no, no, that's... that's you know? <laughs> so, I, I realized, you know, and then the swish noises or smoke, I was going to do it, but I said, ah, I might be too distracting, so... 
Okay. Even, I didn't know you had that kind of range, man. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I didn't see that on the resume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I could do all that. <laughs> Special skills include bat noises. <laughs> and so noises. Sound. Don't forget the, the sounds, sounds of large metal doors opening. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. And large doors. <laughs> Like human <laughs> Star Wars sound effect maker. Yes. <laughs> Love it. <You> know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um let's see. Yeah, we can uh we can jump uh into episode two. So episode two begins about halfway down uh page one. Um Radiform has that line, uh mommy's home, kind of in the middle, and then we'll start with the transition into uh Leo and bubbles and <clears throat> tanks in there and all the the rest of the gang we're back <laughs> Eat deal <laughs> all right um yeah <clears throat> here we go uh there's a transition we hear jungle noises and footsteps it's a humming noise of himbus nimbus that can be heard overhead glacia come in glacia we're all here, right underneath Nimbus. Can't really talk right now, Leo. Kind of being chased by robots. Don't worry, Glacia. We'll be up there in no time. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, oh. As soon as I can find a pair of anti-gravity boots, Tank can put them on and carry us up there. Uh, I um might have taken both pairs. Why do you need both pairs of anti-gravity boots? I didn't know they were anti-gravity boots, Flamehead. I gotta go. Hurry and find a way up here. Oh. Any ideas how to get up to Nimbus, guys? Ooh, ooh, me, 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 pick me, pick me. Ah. Uh, Tank, you you got an idea? Anything? Uh, um, uh. Me, uh, me, 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 Yes, Bubbles. As you can see from the blueprints I've drawn up, I have a few ideas that can help us get to Nimbus and save our friend. When did you have time to draw these? Are these blueprint are these blueprints written in crayon? And is that a a water giraffe? Bubbles, these are just drawings you've done for different animals you want to create with your water powers. Exactly. Uh, hate to break it to you, Bubbles, but I don't think a water draft would be tall enough to get us all the way up there. Hmm, I guess you're right. This is impossible. We don't have anti-gravity boots and we can't fly. We're never going to get up there. Let's just all stop for a moment and take a big breath in. Uh, bubbles, your face is turning purple. Oh. I'm waiting for you to take a big breath in. Oh, fine. Uh. <sighs> And breathe out. There. Don't you feel relaxed and more peaceful? Yeah, a little. See? Even when things feel tough, you can still always find peace. Okay, you're right. Now, let's figure out how to get up there and save Glacia. Well, I think I have another idea for how we can get up there. But it's not very creative or magical. So what? That, that's a good thing. Just tell us your idea. Tank can throw us. Uh, you know, never mind. You were right, Bubbles. You we really, you were right, Bubbles. We really should come up with another idea. Something way more fun and magical. Uh, I'll, I'll get some more paper and, and some crayons for you, and, and you can just start drawing. I think that's a great idea, Bubbles. And I'm almost positive I can throw you up. And I'm almost positive I can throw you both up there. What? What do you mean, almost positive? Well, I mean, it is a long way up there, but 
Even if you don't quite make it, there's a good chance I can catch you on the way back down. A good chance? Are you even listening to yourself? This is a bad idea. Yeah! Liar! Ah! Throw me first, Tank. All right, here we go. Come on, Bubbles. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, now that I think about it, Bubbles can probably help Glacia on her own. <laughs> Your turn, Leo. No, really, I don't need, uh... Here we go! I'm gonna die! <laughs> uh, Heather, can I get a few, like, um, cat noises, like a rare Like... <laughs> I don't think I don't think we've ever done that with Leo, but that could be pretty great to put here. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, we'll transition back to Glacia and Flash <gasps> running and flying. Glacia, we can't keep running. We have to find somewhere to hide. All right. They're catching up to us. Quick, into those bushes over there. The rustle of leaves and creaking of branches as Glacia and Flash jump into the bushes to hide. Glacia, what if your friends don't come? What if we're stuck here forever? I know things look tough right now, Flash, but you can always have peace, even when things get tough. The other Star Keepers won't leave us behind, and I won't leave you, okay? Okay. Think about flying with my family, peaceful thoughts. Now, and just like that, my powers are back under control. Good. Now just stay quiet and pretend to be a bush. Okay, Flash. Pretend to be a bush. Please. Berries. Green. Stumpy. What are you doing? How can I pretend to be a bush if I don't think like a bush? You've got to be kidding me. <gasps> Someone's coming. Intruders, intruders. I have found the intruders. Oh, no, no, no intruder here. Just your average friendly bush. Definitely not an intruder. Um, Kayla, that one more time. Just, just normal voice like you're like speaking as the bush, you know? <laughs> nope, no, nope, no intruder here. Just your average friendly bush. Definitely not an intruder. If you see two, two intruders, please alert us. Uh, sure. Thank you for your cooperation, Bush. Have a nice day. Told ya. Think like a bush. Whatever. Let's just hope no other robots show up, or worse, Radiform and her gang. Transition to the Shadow Squad. Whoa! How could you have lost them? We're in a floating city! It's not like they could have gone anywhere! Apologies, Professor Radiform. Must I do everything myself? Tutu! Hollywood! We need to get to... Blah, 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 blah. We need to get to the control room at the center of the city! One phase is complete. We'll be this much closer to controlling the heart of the universe! <laughs> Hollywood, uh, what are you doing on the ground? Uh, nothing. Uh, I, um, lost one of my contacts. <laughs> yeah, uh, trying to find it. Well, uh, hurry it up. We don't have all day. Uh, Lisa, can I get you to hit that one line? Uh, once phase one is complete, uh, we'll be this much closer. Can we do that one more time? Yeah, totally. Once phase one is complete, we'll be this much closer to controlling the heart of the universe. Perfect. Uh, top of page nine, Radiform stomps away. 
Uh, Hollywood, you don't wear contacts. <laughs> uh, in fact, you've been acting super weird since we landed. Shaking, sweating, holding on to... Shaking, sweating, holding on to the ship, crying for your mommy. It's almost like you're scared of heights. I am not scared of heights. In no way, dude. I'm not scared of uh, uh, anything. Hmm. So you wouldn't mind if I walked over here to the edge then? <laughs> Stop it, Tutu. <laughs> I am not! Will you do hurry it up? Transition to Leo and Bubbles, we hear a huge rush of wind. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. And I am never doing that again. Okay, quick. Quick thinking with the giant water... Quick thinking with the giant water pillow to cushion our fall bubbles. No problem. I figured it might be a bit of a long shot. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> long shot? Because Tank just made a long shot <laughs> with us. <laughs> Seriously. Glacia? Glacia. Bubbles, Bubbles and I are here. Come in. Oh, maybe she turned her calm you. Maybe she turned her calm unit off when she was being chased by the robots. Glacia, Glacia, where are you? <laughs> Bubbles, we want to find Glacia, not get captured by the robots looking for her. <laughs> what was that? I said, like those robots over there? Yikes! Quick! Bubbles, hide! <sighs> oh, that was close, Bubbles. That was close. Bubbles, what are you doing? Following them. You want to follow the scary killer machines? Are you nuts? I know we're in a tough situation, Leo, but you can still have peace. It hasn't gone anywhere. What are some things you can think about? I guess my mom's cooking. That always helps me focus. <sighs> yeah, sitting around the dinner table and eating a big meal. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm good now. Great! Now, think about this. The <laughs> robots are looking for Glacia. We're looking for Glacia. If we follow them, maybe they'll lead us right to her. All right. I hope this works. Transition to Radiform Space in the center of the city. There are faint sounds of robots marching in the background, machines building things, computers beeping, and energy pulses. A faint warning alarm. Uh, is going off. <laughs> mommy, mommy. You can get off the ground already, Hollywood. We're inside. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> uh -huh. It stands up. Oh, uh, sorry, little dudes. Uh, my bad. Ooh. Apologies, oh great one. Actually, here, uh, Avery, do you mind doing some robot voices? Do you want to take these robot lines for us? Okay. Ready? Uh, yep. Oh, apologies. Oh, great one. We did not see you. Attention, Robobats. We have found our new leader. Huh? Are you talking about Hollywood? You will lead us to victory with your metal muscles, oh, great one. Uh, you know, my muscles are pretty great. <laughs> the only great thing about you is your fear of heights. Oh, squee oh great scaredy pants. <laughs> Whatever. <Sure. laughs> there you fools are. And I see you met my two... 
And I see you met my new aerial army. Those star keepers might have ruined my mosquito robots. I said that wrong. Those star keepers might have ruined my robot mosquitoes. But lucky for me, the bats of Nimbus are the perfect replacements. What's that beeping noise? <clears throat> Oh, that? Oh, it's been going on and off for several minutes. Probably something silly, nothing of importance. Now, where did I put those plans? Transition to Leo and Bubbles searching the city. Oh, barnacles. We lost the robots. Never thought I'd be upset about losing the bad guys. I just hope Glacier found a place to hide. Did those bushes... Did those bushes just move? Wishes don't move, silly. Says the one who sings to flowers. See, there, they moved. Whatever you are, come out nice and slow. Uh, <laughs> we are just harmless bushes. No, wait. <gasps> Galicia, I'm so glad we found you. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad too, I guess. Who's the bad? Also, are we going to talk about how you were pretending to be a bush? His name is Flash, and we met in a dumpster. And no, I don't want to talk about it. Flash? Why not something cooler like a Batman? Batman? That is the worst name I've ever heard. Yeah, please don't call me that. That's terrible. A loud rumbling noise like an earthquake, we hear glass shattering and objects falling. What was that? Everything's shaking! Oh no. This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, Glacia? Is it just me, or is there electricity sparking off your new friend? That seems like a problem. I'll explain later. Flash, remember, even when things are tough, you can find peace. You've got to be at peace to control your power. I'm trying, but I don't know where my peace went. <laughs> Our peace doesn't leave us, Flash. You still have it. You just need to focus on it. Try taking a deep breath. And then tell us what's wrong. Uh, Kate, can I get you to hit that, uh, I'm trying, but I don't know where my piece went, just to sound a little more panicky. Like, I'm trying, you know, like I'm, I'm physically in the act of trying to bring it down. I'm trying, but I don't know where my piece went. Our piece doesn't leave us, Flash. You still have it. You just need to focus on it. Try taking a deep breath and then tell us what's wrong. It's the hover beam. What's a hover beam? Uh, sorry. What's a hover beam? It's what keeps Nimbus floating in the air. What does that have to do with the shaking? If everyone's been turned into robots, there's no one in the control room. And that means no one's taking care of the hover beam. Please don't tell me you're saying what I think you're saying. Afraid so. That shaking means the hover beam is shutting down. If we don't do something, Nimbus is going to fall out of the sky and crash! Dun dun dun! dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Mid-season climax! Oh, now, <laughs> do you want to take like a like a three-minute little break? Do you want to just stand up and stretch your legs and then we'll power through? Yeah. Cool. Kate, you're doing amazing! Not that I do thought otherwise or assumed otherwise, but you are totally knocking your house apart. Back up. Oh. Okay, cool. BRB! Yep. Steve, what season is this for labeling? This is like season 17 or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just call it season or something. It's good. Or yeah. Something. <laughs> Oh, and it's not into the portal anymore, right? It's Ad Adventures I of the Star Keepers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we call it a AOTS. AOTS. Got yeah, it. AOTS. Right. <laughs> it's right on the top of my script. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, I guess. 
Christmas and would be a good idea. <laughs> Anybody want a belly dance? <laughs> Woo! Get it. Get it. <clears throat> <laughs> <sighs> oh, so much tea. I'm glad oh. you did it. Crystal, I'm glad you did that so I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> that was gotta be one belly dance. <laughs> Better quota for the day, folks. One per episode. It's all you get. <laughs> yeah, Dungeon Master Steve, don't slack off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dungeon Master. Come on. <laughs> Uh, it's it's really all about immersion for me, you know. Oh, <laughs> really got it. My, I really want to take my actors there. So, <laughs> <laughs> <It's probably Ooh. laughs> my favorite name for uh for mixing with like old timey like uh, uh uh titles, like Grandmaster Kings. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a DJ name. <laughs> Grandmaster um, King Steve. A really yes. bad DJ. <laughs> That's right. Wicked, wicked. Two turntables ah. and a microphone. <laughs> he's, he's the type of uh, DJ who's like the daytime DJ in Ibiza. Yeah. <laughs> he's got like the 12 to 3 shift. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or the DJ in Love Actually, who's like, it's a part of the movie of them being like, so what do you say? Worst DJ ever? And they're like, oh, it hinges on the next song. And he plays the next song. And they're like, yes, he's the worst DJ ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a DJ that would uh, be outside of a Hollister doing like. <laughs> <laughs> Overly perfumed. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, this on Hollister. There was a DJ one time. I went to the Hollister and they had a DJ outside. I was like, that's an oh. marketing. <laughs> Let's bring that's the party in the store. Marketing. <laughs> Weirdest place to find a DJ? There was one outside of Trader <laughs> Joe's the other day because they had the what? long line outside, so they got a DJ to just hang out. I would go to that Trader Joe's. Where was Get that? it, Trader Joe's. It's in Van Nuys. Oh, I'm gonna go to that one. <laughs> it's at Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when, I, when I come visit LA, all of you guys, can you show me where that is? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm already at Trader Joe's. They should hey, DJs the... are out of work, just like everybody else. Yeah, so. fair enough. <laughs> they should Very put true. the DJ at the Sherman Oaks one. That one always has a line. <laughs> I need to come to LA. I've never. I, the only the furthest west I've been is Vegas. I've never you been. Gotta to come. Vegas. I mean, you know, not right now. But. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of warm though, so there's that. Never seen the Pacific Ocean. Oof. It's pretty amazing. So never. many whales. Uh, <laughs> oh, the whales stare. So I speak well. <laughs> 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 So, Avery, where are you at? Where's where's Avery? Where where are you located? Austin, cold Texas. Oh, 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 yeah. oh yeah. getting getting it. Yeah, okay, I'm in Dallas. It's been a, it's been a week. Burn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Yeah, we were lucky. Oh my god. We didn't lose power or anything, so that's good. One of like the only people we know that didn't. Right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Did you get the mad power bill increase? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know yet. Yeah. I don't. I don't do that. I don't pay that bill. Who <laughs> 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 nice. yeah. I'm glad you guys are okay. It was yeah. insane. <laughs> Truly. So, is everyone back? Is everyone here? Oh, yay! Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Awesome. So, are we ready to get yep, to the finish to line with this thing? Yeah, um, it's taking a long to be in, yeah. Where does it pick up? Like, I'm trying to look at her. Um, Steve, all three robot, robots, by the way? Or four? Uh, say it again, sorry. You, you want to do all four robots? Um, yeah, I was going to probably have those done in post. Um, okay. Probably if you could just keep your, like, kind of monotone voice all the way through so that way in post, my guys can kind of pitch it up, pitch it down. Oh, so just do the down. same for all of them. 
I think it's the same for all of them. And then we'll kind of just, we'll, we'll, we'll make those edits in post. Yeah. Cool. We'll do it in post. I think that's what the, <laughs> it's an input. That's what all the producers say. That's right. Aw, welcome to the lingo, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> We'll do it in post. <laughs> Love it. Love Whatever it. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Not, my not my dog. Not my dog. All right. Um, so we uh, will jump into, ha so halfway down page, or three quarters of the way down page one, there's a transition. Oh. Um, it <laughs> says, uh, the ground rumbles again, causing glass to shatter and objects to clatter against the ground. Guys, as much as I love soaring through the air, I don't know if I want to fall out of the sky. Maybe if we can change everyone back, we can stop the city from falling. Flash has a point. Hold on, everyone. Glacia, how do we know if we can even trust him? Hey, uh, I can hear you, you know. I am a bat. We got that whole good hearing thing going on. All I'm saying is, it's a little weird that everyone was turned into a robot but you. And why was electricity coming off of you earlier? Flash is like me, Leo. He has powers, except his power is lightning. That's so exciting! <gasps> Can we see them? Um, okay. Huh. Here's a rumble, yeah. Go for it. No, that's fine. Go ahead. Oh, we hear a faint rumble of thunder, electricity warming up, then a lightning crack and a scared cat cry. There's the cat again. <laughs> Whoops. Whoa! <gasps> Leo, what if he's the new Starkeeper? Even if we can trust him, I don't think Starkeepers come from dumpsters, Bubbles. Leo! I, I mean, no offense or anything, Flash, but you're not really Starkeeper material. Powers are not. Well, I don't see you saving the day. Leo, don't you think you could be a little nicer to Flash? I bet... I bet... I bet you two would be good friends if you give him a chance. Maybe, but if he had used, maybe, but if he had used his powers to stop the Shadow Squad, we wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. If he hadn't, I'm gonna say that line the way it's written, sorry. <laughs> maybe, but if he had, or I won't. Maybe, but if he had used his powers to stop the Shadow Squad, we wouldn't be in this mess. Oh. Oh, yeah? What are your powers anyway? Having a tail? Actually, that's kind of cool. I wish I had a tail. Hey, guys, knock it off. This is no time to be blaming each other for things we can't change. Besides, we're on the same side, remember? We should be working together, not fighting. Glacia's right. None of us know what would have happened if we had been in Flash's shoes. Uh, Glacia's right. None of us know what would have happened if we had been in Flash's shoes. Uh, you're right. Thanks, Glacia. You too, Bubbles. I'm sorry, Flash. Wow, Glacia. I had no idea you could be such a peacemaker. Oh, you have no idea how many times I had to be a peacemaker for Hollywood and Tutu. Like, literally every day. I'm... Sorry too, Leo. Having a tail is a pretty cool power. But that's not my- Great. Now that we're all getting along again. Mm. Great. Now that we're all getting along again, how exactly are we supposed to- re <sighs> Great. Now that we're all getting along again, how exactly are we supposed to turn the robots back? We don't even know where to find them. The control room. It's at the center of the city, and that's where the hover beam is anyway. If we go there, I'm sure we can find the robots and a way to save them. And based on the way Nimbus is shaking, we better hurry. Follow me. Transition to control room slash Radiforms new lab. The background is a mix of computers beeping and energy pulses. We hear camera flashes and clicks. All the robots should sound the same. Over here, great one. Smile so I can take your picture. Strike a pose. 
We love you, oh great one, oh great one, may we get an autograph. Of course! Anything for the fans! <laughs> Can you believe this, Tutu? Uh, quiet down, Hollywood! I'm trying to watch the magical unicorn princess of Fairyland! Your strawberry milkshake Ooh. with extra sprinkles, with cream and a cherry on top, Supreme Princess Tutu. Hey, where's my twisty straw? Of course, here you go. Oh, thanks. Uh oh, let me do that again. I get my very favorite milkshake whenever I want. I finally have every episode of the magical unicorn princess of Fairyland with special features. And I'm finally being called by my full name. Having robot minions is the best. I'm going to do that last thing. Having robot minions is the best. Uh, you only have robot minions because I shared them with you. What did you say? Uh, in, in, nothing. That's what I thought. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> A group of robots approach. We are ready for your orders, Supreme Princess Tutu. Uh, uh, uh why are those Robobats wearing frilly pink ballet tutus? They're my backup dancers, duh! Ugh. It's for my ultra special sparkly dance, just like, just like the magical unicorn princess. <sighs> Tutu clicks the on button and we hear some bubblegum pop sounding tune. All right, Robo Bats. A five, a six, a five, six, seven, eight. Transition to outside <laughs> the control room. The only sounds are gusts of wind and the footsteps of the star keepers. So, can you grab things with your tail? No. What about trees? Can you use it to swing from trees? I'm a panther. We don't swing from trees. Do you use it like a lasso then? You know, to catch bad guys and stuff? My tail isn't my starkeeper power. Placia, is it just me or does Leo look like he might burst into flames? Ugh, why can't they just get along? Sometimes our differences can make working together seem impossible. Just look at you and Le just look at you and Le just look at you and Leo and how you don't always agree. That's why it's so important to be a peacemaker. Peacemakers help each other understand each other and get along. <sighs> hey, Flash, maybe you should hold off on the questions a bit, okay? I'm sure Leo will show what his actual power is later. Oh, all right. Finally, some peace and quiet. Speaking of quiet, does anyone else think it's just a little suspicious that we haven't seen any Robobats? Hmm, maybe they're all on their lunch break? Oh, it sounds great right now. Hey, we're here. That's the control room up ahead. There's only one door. Even if all the Robobats are on a lunch break, there's no way Radiform is gonna let us just walk through the front door. Oh, what if? Please don't say water giraffe. A water giraffe? I mean, uh, can, let's do. Can we take that again, um, mm -hmm. Heather? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. <gasps> Ooh, what if? Please don't say water giraffe. A water giraffe? I mean, <clears throat> not a water giraffe. <gasps> Ooh, I know. What about a water elephant? Bubbles. Fine. No water elephant. <sighs> I guess we could just go through the windows. Well, I still have the anti-gravity boots in my backpack. And Flash can fly. It's not a water elephant, but I'm sure it'll work. Okay, but there's only two pairs of anti-gravity boots. What's the third person gonna do? 
Transition to the Star Keepers and Flash Flying. We hear the hover noise uh, of the boots and the flapping of Flash's wings. Bubbles, why do you and Glacia get to wear the boots and I have to be carried? Because <laughs> you lost when we played rock, paper, scissors. Now quit complaining and open the window. Fine, <laughs> but I get to wear the anti-gravity, but I get to wear the anti-gravity boots on the way back. Leo flips the latch and pushes the window open. Leo grunts as he crawls to the window. Glacia and Bubbles turn their anti-gravity boots off and Flash stops flapping, all three hitting the floor with a soft thud. The window is closed. Gust of wind are replaced with the faint tunes of Tutu's theme song. We hear Tutu's lines from afar. A five, seven, eight, 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 and jazz hands and twirl. I said twirl! Yes, Supreme Princess Tutu. <laughs> At least we know where all the robots went. Looks like Tutu recruited them as backup dancers. Yeah, and the other half are Hollywood's personal fan club. <laughs> Someone's coming! Loud footsteps and Tutu's music scratches off. <gasps> hey! My dance number! Vel, little bats! I order you to get back to your stations! Yes, Radiform. Like. Yes, Radiform. <laughs> oh, but dude, I was getting really good at signing autographs. Tutu, Hollywood, if the Robobats are here dancing and taking pictures, who do you think is guarding the control room? Um, um, uh, no. well, um. No one, that's who? I might as well have let the star keepers just walk through the front door, take the conversion device, and is that a strawberry milkshake? Radiform crosses the room and grabs something. She slurps the milkshake and burps. I can't burp on cue. <laughs> oh, here. It's uh, like, wait. Ooh. Uh, uh, wait. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that Ooh. good? That was good. Or do you want a bigger one? I think I can do a longer one. Uh, yes! Uh, All right. Yay, thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. First of all, you're amazing. <laughs> you can Queen. take my you can take my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Burping contest. <clears throat> but that's mine! <laughs> well, I'm your leader, so whatever's yours is mine, like this milkshake. <sighs> I want my milkshake! <laughs> and I want you two to go outside and keep a lookout. Now go! Uh, uh, yes! Red form. Yes, red form. Crazy. Tutu and Hollywood walk away, slamming the door behind them. Radiform rummages through the things Hollywood and Tutu left behind as she talks. Those fools using my robobats for dance numbers and autographs and... Wait, what is this? Oh, the magical unicorn princess of Fairyland? Hmm, I did miss episode 782. Maybe I'll just uh, watch it here Well, I have the room to myself. Radiform turns on the TV and loads up an episode. Some princessy cartoon music starts playing and Radiform returns to slurping down the milkshake. Radiform came out of that room over there. That's probably where she's keeping the conversion device. I say we grab it and get out of here. Not fair. What about Flash's clan? We can't just let them stay as robots. But we don't have time. And we'll have to make time. And just how are we supposed to do that? If you, that's not me. <laughs> and work together we can figure out a way to do both he's right we should be a peacemaker flash okay we'll work together and figure this out first let's get inside radiform's room okay everyone look for the conversion device Oh, do you need a slurp sound there? Sorry. Right. Radiform? Oh! Uh. Oh. Yes. 
Okay, everyone, look for the conversion device. Well, that's easy. It's right there attached to the scary looking energy beam. Well, that's not good. I disagree. I think it's absolutely perfect. <gasps> Rattle horn! <laughs> and to think, I sent those two nitwits to go look for you when all I had to do was wait here. Yay, me! Intruders. My clan! Turn them back! No, I don't think so. They're so much better like this. In fact, you should probably join them. robo bats. grab them! Bubbles, use the anti-gravity boots. Got it! Uh, guys, what about me? <laughs> Flying won't save you, Star Keepers! Or have you forgotten? My Robo Bats can fly too! Ooh, sorry. sorry, I just grill. Um, fly, my Robo Bats! Fly! <laughs> Hey, Glacia, I'm floating, but I'm not really going anywhere. Me neither. I forgot the boots are just for floating, not flying. Um, oh, Bubbles, try using your water powers to push yourself. Oh. Mm. <laughs> it's like a water jetpack. <laughs> Robo bats. Activate laser eyes. Laser eyes activated. <sighs> Take that, Robo Bat. Glacia, watch out! The Robo Bats shoot a laser hit Glacia in the foot. Ah! They hit one of my anti gravity boots. Glacia <laughs> crashes to the ground and. Uh, into Tutu's radio. Tutu's theme song scratches back on and starts playing. The robots stop marching and flying. We once again hear the robotic jerks and spinning as they say, oh, and oh. left and right and jazz hands and twirl. Sorry. Sorry. I, I hit my iPad and then I got lost. Sorry. Oh, uh, cool. Uh, top of 15. Yes. Here we go. Okay. Sorry. What's going on? Robobats, what are you doing? Stop dancing! Stop it! Glacia hit the radio when she landed. The song must have triggered Tutu's dance command from earlier. Quick, everyone, aim at the energy beam while they're dancing. Maybe we can break it and disconnect the conversion device. Glacia, Bubbles, and Leo all try hitting the beam with their powers. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 <laughs> Did someone say nothing's working? I, did. I didn't hear it. Oh, you did? Okay, sorry. <laughs> there was a lot of <clears throat> going on. <laughs> okay, cool. Foolish brats, that beam is powered by negative electric currents and can only be stopped by one thing, positive electricity. Do any of you have that? I didn't think so. <laughs> think again, Radiform. You want positive electricity? Here you go! Portalcaster in Leo's bag starts beeping. Flash charges up and releases a bolt of lightning. There's a crash as the opposing beams hit each other and push against each other. Uh, uh, I can't it. It's too strong! Go back. <laughs> Flash is using... <laughs> Flash is using his lightning to try to reverse the beam's negative electricity. Yeah, way to go, Flash! I... I can't change it. It's too strong. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, bad boy! Leo, the portal caster in your bag is going crazy. That's got him. That's God, I mean, Flash is the new Starkeeper. That's great, guys. Kind of busy, though. Quick, Leo, put the portal caster on him. On it. Starkeeper detected. Power up initiated. Whoa. Under <laughs> oh, sorry. 
Oh, I was going to say, yeah, Thunder Rumble slowly at first, then grows in intensity as Flash's lightning power gets much stronger. Oh, it's working! It's working! The energy beam is overcome with positive energy and pulses out. The conversion device cracks. The energy beam! My conversion device! No! I didn't even, I didn't peek. That's amazing. Thank you, Tim Tippetts, for tweaking my studio. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Amazing. Awesome. Um, my favorite part of that was the reference to Bat Boy, the, uh, yes. the tabloid guy from, yes. like, what was it, the late 90s? Oh my gosh. Oh and my an God. amazing musical. Wait, yes. that wasn't real? <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else think that the robots sound like the aliens from Galaxy Quest, or is it just me? Oh, yes. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> Bye, Greg Paul Tyler. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. What a great movie. Oh, man. All right. We are uh, episode four, final episode. Um. We are actually top of page two on this one. Um, yeah, transition, the energy, be energy beam pulses out. A rush of energy ripples through the control room, the robot short circuit, and they revert back to bats. Um, for this one, um, let's see, can you, Avery, can you kind of kind of just give me like a little like high pitch, like you're like a like little small bat person? Uh, for this one, we're not. We're gonna drop the the robot voice here on out. So sad you like that. No, that's yes, actually, perfect. Hi, bitch. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I might. Uh, I might actually have a few people. Kelly, I might have you do. Um, let me do. Have Avery be bat number one, and then Kelly, if you can do bat number two, that would be great. All right. So, so, so to be clear. Uh, I'm bat one and the robot's <laughs> voice is the same. Uh, correct. Yeah. So just assume where it says robots, like what is happening, just to kind of do that in your bat one voice. Bat one. Got it. Mm -hmm. Am I slow? <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, top of, yeah. Top two transition energy beam pulses out and oh, the gosh, robots so again reverting back to bats. Yep. The robots are changing back. Robot noises are replaced with normal voices and murmurs. Hey, we're bats again. Uh oh. There's the one that turned us into robots. Surround her. Don't let her get away. <laughs> Listen, I only did it for your own good. I mean, weren't you happier being my mindless robot servants? <laughs> Oh, door squeaks open and Hollywood and Tutu run in. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, uniform. uh, I think the robots all turned back into bats. Uh, either that or, uh, like, my vision circuits are malfunctioning. <laughs> I think she knows, Hollywood. Don't move, Metal Man. You two are coming with us. Huh? W w what happened to calling me Grade One and, and asking for my autograph? <laughs> you... What about my backup dancers? A siren goes off. Uh, Kelly, can you hit this computer again as well? Kind of like more, probably more like deeper, like a deeper uh, Nova voice. Yes. Uh, let's see. I don't see a computer. Oh, yes, I do. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> warning, warning, hover beam failing. Hover beam. Guys, we completely forgot about the hover beam. <gasps> Excuse me? Hi, hello, I'm Bubbles. You might be a little worried about your city, but when I'm worried, I focus on thinking about peaceful thoughts. Go ahead and try it. Bubbles, we don't really have time for you to try and share your peace with them. We're in kind of a serious situation. I know, but serious situations are some of the best times to share peace with others. Um, so while you all are taking a moment to have some peace, can anyone point out where the hover beam is? Uh, 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, Kelly, that's, uh, yeah, yep. top of page four, bad, bad, bad. Got two. it, got it. <laughs> I can show you. Just let us lock up this ratiform character so she can't get away. Hey, where'd she go? <laughs> Over here! While you were distracted by those sirens, I thought I'd slip by. You didn't think I'd leave without my precious conversion vice. Con you didn't leave. Uh, uh. You didn't think I'd leave without my precious conversion device, did you? I'll be using it on the heart of the universe to turn all of you and everyone else into robots. Oh, and by the way, you should probably check next time to see if a person you want to capture is wearing a teleport bracelet. I think I totally messed that up. Did I hit that right? I think you got it. Yeah, I think, uh, it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what about us? We don't have teleport bracelets. Oh, so sad. Don't care. So long, star keepers. Mm. Try not to make a big hole when you hit the ground. Radiform <laughs> 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 left us. G can, can she do that? A loud rumble and shake, loud warning klaxon sounds. There's a rush of wind and creaking as Nimbus slowly begins to fall. Uh, the hover beam can't hold the city up anymore. We're starting to fall. There's no time to lose. Come on. Transition to hover beam, we hear noises of broken machinery and short circuits. Since hover beam was left unattended, the gears melted together. Unless we can get the gears working again, We'll never generate enough energy to power the hover beam. And if we don't power the hover beam, we're all gonna crash. <gasps> Leo, can't you use your firepower to melt through the stuck gears? I don't know. It might actually cause more damage. Uh, Glacia, what if... Glacia, what do you... Uh, hey, hey, where'd Glacia go? Transition to Tutu in Hollywood. Tutu digs through a pile of metal junk and knickknacks. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> <Mikey. laughs> Uh, nope, not this one. Nope. Uh, Hollywood! <laughs> corner and help me find something to get me. Oh, wait. Uh, pick up. <laughs> Hollywood! Stop crying in the corner and help me find something to get me. Uh, I mean, us out of here. I don't want to fall out of the sky. I'll just be a, a big metal pancake on the ground. I mean, you're like a, a handsome pancake, but still. Hollywood. Glacier? Huh? Listen, I know we're not on the same team anymore, but we could really use your help. What makes you think we'd ever help you, traitor? Well, Radiform did leave you guys in a city about to crash. So you can either help us save So you can either help us save the city or we'll all go down together. Uh, uh, fine. Come on, Hollywood. What? No way, dude. I am not going out there. <laughs> well, I'm getting out of here. Even if it means helping those dumb star keepers. You can stay here for all I care. Yeah, I'm gonna do Sorry, can I do that one more time, the last line? It's a bummer, dude. <laughs> you can stay here for all I care. <laughs> oh, gnarly bummer. <laughs> Stop crying. You cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Transition to hover beam, Glacia and Tutu walk in. Guys, I brought some help. What? What's she doing here? Listen, Catboy, I don't want to help you guys, but I also don't want to fall out of the sky. Tutu can help us, Leo. Her tears can eat through metal. Believe me, she almost melted through my ship more than once. She can help us free up the melted... She can help us free up the melted gears so the hover beam starts working again. Fine! but only because we're gonna crash if we don't. Go on, Tutu, cry. <gasps> I'm a sweet little bundle of joy and happiness. I can't just cry on command. Well, think of something sad then, like uh, what if you spilled a bunch of ice cream or, or, or lost your favorite toy? Or what if your favorite TV show got canceled forever? <gasps> Tutu, 
to. <laughs> they can't cancel Avengers and Cotton Candy Land! What monster would do such a thing? <laughs> the sound of Metal Gears break apart. They were as they resume operation. The gears are free! Charging in process. Charging? Oh, what kind of hover beam needs to charge? Um, hey, my clan can fly under Nimbus to slow it down while the Nim- Blech. Um, hey, my clan can fly under the Nimbus- Blech. It's not the Nimbus. Sorry. Um, hey, my clan can fly under Nimbus to slow it down while the beam is charging? Of course, leave it to us! Come on, Flash! Whoa, sorry. Hey, you're that metal man. Uh, I mean, what's your name? <laughs> oh, are you okay? We could use your help. <laughs> it's, it's Hollywood. <laughs> Leave me alone, man. I can't help. Everyone, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> it's Hollywood. <laughs> Leave me alone, man. I can't help. Everyone's right. <laughs> I'm just a big scaredy cat. <laughs> oh, I know how you feel. Go on ahead, everyone. I'll be right there. <laughs> Listen, Holly guy. I was really scared when my clan got turned into robots. I couldn't control my lightning, and I really scared some poor cat twice. But Glacia helped me. She reminded me... Oh, uh, I'm gonna pick up at... Uh, I couldn't... I couldn't control my lightning, and I really scared some poor cat twice. But Glacia helped me. She reminded me that if I think peaceful thoughts, like about flying or spending time with my family, I can calm down. And then things don't look so bad. You should try that, too. Uh, yeah. And then things don't look so bad. You should try that, too. Try thinking about things that help you feel peace. <laughs> you'd, you'd share your peace with me, little dude? Whoa, that's really, uh, nice. Yeah, maybe I should try thinking peaceful thoughts, like, like you said. Um, uh, let's see, uh, uh signing autographs, <laughs> napping, um, not getting yelled at by Tutu, um... Hey, bat kid! The other bats are leaving without you! I better go. My clan is flying underneath Nimbus to try and slow it down. Come give us a hand if you can, Holly dude. Oh, oh, uh, hey, oh, uh, hey, <laughs> maybe I can help with that. Giant rockets come out of Hollywood's back, something like uh, the robot guy from One Punch Man, if anyone's ever seen that before. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my man. <laughs> they ignite and hold steady. Hollywood, you had rockets this entire time? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I guess I forgot about them. <laughs> yeah, my memory's not so good when I'm scared, okay? Mm. Don't worry, little dudes. I'm coming to help you. <laughs> Never fear, the Great One has come to lead you with his metal muscles. <laughs> Basically talking about who's the Great One? I don't know. Just smile at him. Uh, Thanks for Hi, hitting you're, the so, line. you're so funny. I was just writing, just saying, you know? Yeah. Thank you for hitting the line exactly how it was written. It's hard to be the one that talks first after somebody's funny, you know? Come on. All right.
<laughs> Guys, the city's slowing down. Good job, Hollywood. We're still going too fast. At this rate, we're going to crash right into the mountain down there. <sighs> Sounds like someone needs to sing us. Mm. Sounds like someone needs to sing a song so he can have peace. Oh, absolutely not. Leo! <laughs> Remember what happened when I told you to sing song to the wolf bats to calm them down? Yes, it helped. So, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. oh, I can have peace even though it looks like we're gonna crash and I can sing about peaceful things like birds that have wings and I kind of wish I had wings right now. That was so good, Leo! <laughs> See, songs are another way we can share peace with others. Maybe I should sing too. My powers are going a little crazy again. Oh, Flash, you're lightning. I know, I know. Just give me a second. I'm calming down. No, not that. Remember, the hover beam needs energy. Uh, hello. That's why it's charging right now. Exactly. But Flash's lightning can make more energy. Maybe he can make it charge faster so we don't crash. Oh. Well, okay. But what if that doesn't work? What about you guys? Don't worry, I've got a plan. Tank, come in, Tank. Uh, oh, Leo, uh, finally. What's going on up there? Are you guys okay? Why is Nimbus falling? We ran into some trouble with Ratiform, and now we have a broken hover beam. But I have an idea, and I'll need your help. I'm all ears. What's the plan? We need to get down to where Tank is. We can't... We need to get down to where Tank is. We can't use the anti-gravity boots because, well, they only go up, not down. Well, how exactly are we supposed to get down there? And why are you we and why are we so close to the edge? Why are you all looking at me like that? Glacia, why are you walking towards me? Sorry about this, Tutu, but you'll be fine. Sorry about what? Think she'll for think she'll forgive you for throwing her off Nimbus? Nope. Are you ready, Bubbles? Ready as I'll ever be. Cannonball! Oh. Leo? I can't believe this is the best idea I could come up with. No! Oh, I really hope Tank catches me. Gotcha. Thanks, Tank. Ooh. Thanks, Tank. See, Tutu? Wow. Thanks, Tank. See, Tutu? You're okay. Uh, I lost my voice screaming on the way down. But when I get it back, I will have a lot of things to say to you. I said I was sorry. Okay, now that everyone's here, you guys see that small mountain? Flash might not be able to stop the city completely, but if we can, but if we clear out this mountain and Flash can, but if we clear out this mountain and Flash can at least slow Nimbus down, maybe it can land safely. Nimbus is falling awfully fast. Uh, are you sure we can do it in time? Don't think about that, Tank. Think about all the don't think about that, Tank. Think about all the people we're helping and the good you're doing. That should help you have peace. That's a great idea. <laughs> you're getting really good at sharing peace, Bubbles. All right, everyone. Let's give this mountain everything we've got. On, On it! it. Ugh, this better work. I think I only have one more screen left in me. Now, Glacier, you first. Good, it's freezing! Tutu, go! Great! <laughs> oh wait, do I have to scream and release as one of her tower? Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Great! 
We're doing it! All right, Tank, Bubbles. All right, Tank, Bubbles, start clearing the rubble. <laughs> it's working, but Nimbus is still falling too fast. Flash, are you there? We're counting on you. You gotta slow Nimbus down. Leo, I can't do it. I'm not strong enough. I'm gonna fail. Flash, it's Glacia. Listen, I know you're worried and scared right now. I had to save my people once and I felt the same way. You did? What did you do? I thought about my Yaya. And I thought about how I didn't have to do it alone because Leo and Tank were with me. Knowing I wasn't alone gave me peace. And I want to share that peace with you, Flash. Because you're not alone either. Mm. Because you're not alone either. You have the Star Keepers, no matter what. I'm not alone. I can do this. I'm not alone. I can do this. Just a little more energy. Hoverbeam. Hoverbeam charging complete. I did it. Leo? Uh, the hoverbeam is char- I did it! Leo? The hoverbeam is charged. I think it's damaged, but it should be slowing the city down. Yeah, Flash did it! Hollywood, the hover beam is slowing the city! When it gets close to the ground, you and the bats get out of there! The city can land safely on the ground! Right on! You heard him, little dudes! Right! You heard him, little dudes! We hear a flapping of wings in Hollywood's rockets as they move out from under Nimbus. There's a muffled but epic boom as Nimbus lands. Flash flies over. That was so cool! You guys were like... I was like... And Nimbus was like... Flash, you're okay! Feel great. Nimbus is saved. My clan isn't a bunch of killer robots. Uh, okay, I feel great. Nimbus is saved. My clan isn't a bunch of killer robobats. I have this cool bracelet thingy for my lightning. And whoa, who's the rock guy? <laughs> Flash, this is Tank. He's a starkeeper too. Hi, Flash. Nice to meet you. Hi, Tank. Wait. A Star Keeper 2? Does that mean I'm one of you guys? <laughs> guys, what do you think? Is Flash one of us? Well, you did do a pretty great job out there. And lightning powers are pretty cool. Guys, stop teasing him. Of course you're one of us, Flash. Welcome to the team, Flash. <laughs> Thank you all for saving Nimbus. <laughs> We'll be able to fix the hover beam now and get Nimbus back up in the air in no time. And thank you too, Hollywood and Tutu. I guess we should probably thank you guys too. Ugh, whatever, star losers. Just don't expect us to help you in the future. I mean, you threw me off the edge of the city even though it was... Uh, I mean, you... I mean, you threw me off the edge of the city, even though it was gonna... Okay, sorry. This is the last one. <laughs> I mean, you threw me off the edge of the city, even though it was gonna land safely anyways. Come on, Hollywood. I need to get back to Ne... We need to get back to Nebulous. Um, yeah. Uh, what she said. Uh, I guess. Oh. Come on. Oh, you sure? It was yeah. bad, man. Was no, a... come on. Tutu. I want my milkshake. Oh, I was really hoping they'd join us. They did help us save Nimbus, so anything's possible. Yeah! Too bad that Rataform lady got away. And she took that conversation device thingy. Sorry. Oh. That's all right. Yeah! Too bad that Rataform lady got away. And she took that conversion device thingy. 
at least Stratiform and Nebulos don't have the heart of the universe. Not yet, but they're going to come after it one day, and I have a bad feeling it's going to be soon. Real soon. <laughs> Yay! Hey. Who's making Cardi B sounds? Is that you, Bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, now I can't hear you guys. Mm. I can hear you. Um, we will be kind of wrapping it up. So we're going to have like our Avengers in game final season. Uh, I'm kind of thinking, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking um, like Nebulos is going to have his own like version of a Star Keeper or something. Like we're going to introduce at the end like this like anti Star Keeper type character. Um, that's kind of one of the things I want to throw in. But yeah, so we'll be wrapping it up uh, kind of before the end of the summer. So I think May will be uh, the final season for like this phase of Star Keepers. Take a little bit of a lighter production break over the summer, but then um, we got some cool stuff coming up in the fall as well. So I'm excited. Hey. This like, is so excellent. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like the <laughs> stuff like where it's like the opposite of the heroes, like their opposite powers to combat that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Nebulos kind of has these shadow powers. So I'm wondering if he like has this like little minion who's like this like ball of like negative energy or something, yeah. something like that. I don't know. I gotta, we gotta figure it out. I'd love to see like an anti Star Keeper, like a, like a <laughs> or something, dude. That'd be cool. Uh, even if it's just like the, our same voices, like the same people doing the voices, but just kind of like yeah. the, like a shadow. Oh, that would be cool. Oh, that is, that's yeah. a cool idea. Fun. Does that mean I get to be good? <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean two two in no, separate universe? Join up with the star keepers. <laughs> that, would, yeah! that would be awesome, though. And uh, Bubbles I think and I can I sing about small. unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, are even actually in this like set of episodes, I was like, oh wow, like I feel like two two and Bubbles are really just like opposite sides of the same coin. <laughs> We're just slowly <laughs> melding into the same person. <laughs> 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 I, I've always kind of wanted to, I mean, you guys have heard me for a couple seasons now. I've wanted to kind of like bridge the gap between Hollywood and Tutu and just make them seem like they're not like evil. You know, they also had this like symbiotic relationship between each other. They're just, they just do whatever <laughs> they want to do, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, Hollywood, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone will thank you so much. Lisa, yes. thank you for putting together the live stream. Yeah, I'm sorry Yay! that only it's works so halfway. Yeah, so I'll, we've been recording, and so as soon as this renders down, um, I actually let me stop recording. This isn't even the other. Bye, world. Um.